Well, hi there. Well, I'm bringing back my SX-70. Um, it's a Polaroid, one of them. The original folding LAN camera. You pull up with one straight motion and you take the picture. Picture comes out. But that's not the thing I'm here talking about today. I've got the Color SX-70 Polaroid Original Film. And since I haven't used this camera, truly, as much as I like my SX-70, it's just, it's not as common to find. So, but they do give you some cool features. So what this SX-70 gives you is the ability to do actual manual focusing. As you can see, the lens moving back and forth. It allows you to zoom in from infinity down to 10 inches. Unlike the one I have been shooting when I go traveling, that gives you just a fixed focus and a close-up lens. The 600 series camera. It goes... Oh, with these, I do recommend you get the Impossible Frog... Impossible. The Polaroid Originals Frog Tongue. I don't know why I said Impossibles. I think I'm just so used to Impossible Projects. And that's why I have this one. In case I drop it. But... The SX-70 is actually a really phenomenal camera for taking very good photography shots. Like... I can include a picture in about now. And this thing is actually really good at photography because it is an SLR, it's a single lens reflex. This is the Model 2. And uh, I do love it for that reason. The SX-70 was a, a feat of engineering. I mean, Ed, Dr. Land was, he created a great thing. I mean, look at the symmetry on this. Symmetry, I don't even know if that's the correct word. I'm just a dude on a camera holding an SX-70 Polaroid talking about it. It's definitely a better, more professional camera than the counterparts that were the one step close ups and the one step express and the sun 600 with all those fixed focus lenses because this one also offers a glass lens yes a four element glass lens it allows you to change your light and darken mode as well as that and it's just an all around cool camera the bad points about it i don't the bad points about this camera truly i'll be honest I love this thing. The fact that I can just slip it into my pocket in my uh, blazer and walk around. I absolutely love that. Now, the only problem I do have with it is the fact that it's pretty fragile. I mean, the fact that I have to pull from the back the viewfinder to open it and pull it up. Um, I've already broken one of these before. And that was that teal one that I had back, I think it was like two years ago. I had that one and I was out shooting and I went, <laughs> ripped the whole thing apart, broke it, and uh, it's just a really fragile camera. But I think if I really want that professional look, like a focused, say I'm taking a portrait, this would be the perfect Polaroid for it. Um, I do have like the One Step Alpha 1 or whatever, the, sorry, not the Alpha 1 One Step, the uh, SX-70 One Step Alpha, I'm tired. But um. It's pretty much the same. It's just, it's been a while since I posted an SX-70 and somebody actually wanted me to post an, a video about my SX-70 and or collection of them. I do have various ones from the Sears special to this one here. And uh, yeah, this one was the one that was in the video that got reskinned. So you can tell how nice that actually looks. It looks kind of cool. And Truly, I'm not arguing with it. I mean, this camera is definitely one that I love personally. But if I go traveling, like if I'm driving to Georgia or if I'm heading to Wisconsin or Chicago or something, I'm going to just carry this one because it just, it's got a flash. I don't have to fly a flash bar, flash cube, or upcycle a flash, old flash bar and try and do so much other stuff that wasn't really necessary. So I thought this one was pretty good. Plus I can use that inside. 
better than I can with the SX-70. But I've got the SX-70 film from Polaroid Originals. Online that Polaroid Originals, they, uh, they somehow have the original emulsion, and I don't believe that's true because I remember the original Time Zero emulsion, and now that they're acquired by Polaroid or they acquired Polaroid, they, someone was claiming that there was a, they had the original chemistry. Like they got the formula for the original chemistry. And I don't actually believe that truly. I mean, if they had the real formula, I, most of my Polaroids from when I was a kid, they should look majority like the ones that I'm taking now, but they don't. So yeah. Um, otherwise, yeah, I do like shooting with this. I mean, it gives you a broad range of what you can go up a stop or down a stop with. And it just makes it all around much better to use. And the only problem I do have with it is that it, this film is so sensitive with the SX-70. Like you have to actually, I use a light meter just to get an exposure that's not completely faded out and or washed away or something that just completely is all white. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to load the film in this camera, and pretty much that's about it. I mean, I can do a review on it, but, I mean, this camera's been with me for so long. See? And you could hear by how hard I pulled on that that I got used to just pulling it straight up in one easy motion, and I just broke it. And so SLR 680 is a great camera if you want something with the flash sonar autofocus that they had on SX-70 sonar, <laughs> hence the name. And then you got the, uh, just the, it's, it's a 600 camera, but it's an SX-70 body, so it's really cool. So I, it's definitely worth, if you have the money for it, it's definitely worth buying, because I have one, actually I have two of them, and I enjoy them so much, and I do like them. Now, I know my voice is a little hasty, I've been outside for six hours working on the car, and uh, yeah, let's get to it. So this is the Polaroid Originals SX-70 color film. Now, I'll be completely honest. I didn't expect to have only eight shots, but what do you expect? They lowered the price on them ever so slightly, just enough to make it a little more affordable. But it's not enough for me to buy one every single week. I mean, I have tons of cameras. And... At, Polaroid cameras are definitely one of those cameras I don't use on a daily basis because of the reasons of it's expensive. And I don't want to shoot something that's going to cost me a ton of money. So here's the SX-70 box for the Polaroid Originals. And it's got, they claim it's got an ASA of 160 and you can go up a stop or down a stop very easily. Here's your unboxing of the new film. Oh, just to mention, this thing cost me $20. Okay, come on. So first thing I see is they have this uh, how to make great photos. Shield it, cover it, keep it cool before load it in your camera and shoot it. This one is from, it was made in 8 of 17. So it's a little past the date that it's supposed to be. and or it's just, it's been sitting a while. But they don't have the freaky cool designs anymore like they would from different artists. And I kind of miss that. The fact like they had something like, don't shake it like a Polaroid picture or the, the one where I like, if nothing's impossible, do the impossible. I mean, they're, they're cheesy like hipster quotes and I think that's kind of cool because it was just cool. Now you just get this 
plain Polaroid original sign. But it's what we got. It's what we have until somebody can mass 3D print these cartridges, find a way to make the batteries, and then find a way to make a machine that makes these film cart like the make the film. So until then, we're stuck. But the SX70 is back. And what you do? A little lever on the side, right here, marked in yellow. There you go. And what you're gonna do? So you're gonna open that film door. Now don't be like me, just take it off, but you're gonna open the film door. Oop, I didn't realign it. No wonder. Uh -huh. There you go. Now let me actually make sure before I put that in that my camera is actually working. There we go. That's a clear indication that it's working. So we've opened the film door and we take the Polaroid Originals SX70 film. Oh yeah, they don't have SX70 anymore. It's just the rainbow color. Yeah. They don't tell you even what film it is. So if I open a bunch of these and I leave them out, like I have a few of them upstairs in my fridge and I don't even know what's on them, but I mean, I can't figure out like, oh, it's just, yeah. What you're gonna do, it's so simple. Dr. Land was so good at this. What you're gonna do, just put it straight in. See that flap right there that just closed? Yep. And as we close it, it's ready to shoot. So I'm going to collapse this, cover slide, I'm going to collapse this and uh, put it over here and I'm going to just say I love my SX-70, I kid you not. This is the, uh, the cover slide, so, well, I don't know what video this was, it wasn't a review, it was like an unboxing-ish review of something and... <sighs> I don't even know what to think right now. I'm just, I'm so tired. I mean, my pupils are so tired. But, eh, I thought I'd share my SX-70 with the world. I bet a lot of camera people would hate me about when they saw the, uh, how I was opening it and they would go, oh, it's not the way you do it. And second, I'm not gonna probably, it takes a lot, I was thinking about it. It takes a lot of work to take the videos that they make and completely like completely chop them up. So I'm a full-time college student and that's really hard to do when you're non-stop going to classes and you got a lot of homework to do and you have so much stuff. So I can't just be making videos like willy-nilly, but I do have time to make like a video stating what I say or something like that because it only takes all of what 20 minutes or so of my life I mean I do love my cameras and I do love talking about them but I don't want to go through this whole thing of putting all these different clips together right now and it's just it's so much effort for five minutes of work and it's just because probably because I'm in college and I just don't have the time so I apologize to all those people who like to watch me and do all that type of stuff but I can insert photos into my pic videos. Um, I'm going to be expanding my horizons by making this a little less about cameras and more about like, hey, what's life like over here too? I mean, like, giving it a little life here and just stuff like that. So hopefully you guys will keep watching me on, as the journey goes on. So maybe when I go traveling, I take my camera along and follow me along. So, you have a good one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or keep up for my channels. And, yeah.